Hi there, it's Carrie from GetAnorwexWebsite.com. I want to show you how to create an email address that has your domain name as an ending. So for example, if I was making one for the GetAnorwexWebsite.com site, I might want one that is info at GetAnorwexWebsite.com or Carrie at GetAnorwexWebsite.com. And here's how you do it. In your browser bar at the top, type in your own domain name. So I'm going to type in GetAnorwexWebsite.com then uh, you'll put a slash and the word cPanel. So you're typing in your own domain name, then a slash, then cPanel. Okay, you will get a pop-up box asking you for your login information. If you don't know this information, just contact us and we'll give it to you. I have an autofill program on my computer, so I will use that and I will log in. When you log in, you'll see what's called your cPanel. Now your cPanel has a lot of functions that you probably won't ever need and if you touch the wrong thing in here you can cause uh, damage to your site. So just follow the directions and if there's something specific you'd like to learn how to do just contact me and I will explain to you how to do it. Okay, so to make yourself a new email account you go to the mail section and you click email accounts. Okay, and what you get is this screen that will come up and it will say there are no email accounts configured for this domain. You're going to make one. So uh, let's say I want mine to be info at getnorwexwebsite.com. I can create a password of my own or I can click generate password. If you generate a password, you get uh, a fairly complex string of letters and numbers. Um, usually I just, I just make one up. So I'll just make one up there. Uh, if it's really pitiful, you will get a little screen saying this is a very weak password. Usually a good password will have letters and numbers and special characters. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just show you how to make the email and you can make your own password as you want. Okay, so I just clicked that I wanted to create and uh, it'll ask you, do you want to configure this account to work with a mail client? And you can say yes uh, or you can say no. If you say no, you come back to the main screen, you'll see here that you've got your email address. Okay, there are some other things here that I'll show you in a minute. But um, if ever you want to configure this email client, you click here and it will show you either an auto method or you can manually make the change on that. 